everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today I want to talk about top 10 games if you like Street Fighter, or fighting games, or Tekken, or Super Smash Brothers, or Mortal Kombat, or Capcom vs. Street Fighter, or the millions of them that are out there. Soul Calibur, okay, I'm not going to say them all, because I'm kind of out of date on which ones are popular anyway. Uh, these came into vogue when I was a teenager, and I certainly played a lot of Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat in my life. I found myself never to be very good at these games, but I wanted to talk about 10 board or card games that kind of emulate these games. Uh, being Keeping in mind that I don't think a card or board game will ever be able to do this as well as you might think. And as I talk about these, realize that this is my order of my personal preference. So let's get started. Number 10 is Brawl. This is an old game back in the way gone by eras, but it's a fast speed style game, a real time game. I found it to be eh, you know, but if you like that whole quick play cards as fast as you can to defeat the other person, again, the whole aspect of these Street Fighter type things, and this was more of a a duke em up type game. I, I think this does a pretty good job at emulating that. That's Brawl. Number nine, and I'll take garbage on this one, I think, because I think this will be many people's number one. And this one is Exceed uh, from Level 99. Not the only time you'll see them on this list. Exceed actually has one of the, the versions of Exceed. There's many different versions. One of them actually is Street Fighter themed. that has the Street Fighter characters in it. And it's a slower style game, which is why it's not as high on my list. Uh, I also I found it a little more lucky than I'd prefer. But it's this back and forth. You have the different characters, whether they're Street Fighter or the characters with the different versions of Exceed that are out there. And it's essentially a big rock, paper, scissors style game, which if you play most of the games on this list, that's how they work. That's how Street Fighter games actually work in the first place, knowing when to do the leg sleep sweep as opposed to the block. You know, I'm trying to outguess you. So this one does a good job. It's a back and forth board where you're moving back and forth and fighting on it. And like I said, if you want the actual theme of the game, there you go. As a side note, I should mention there is a Street Fighter miniature game that is coming out, but it's not out yet, so I couldn't consider it for this list. Number eight is Jab, real-time boxing. Uh, this is a boxing game, which is very similar to street fighting. Uh, and in it, again, you're playing cards as quickly as you can, trying to jab and counteract the other person. This game from Tasty Minstrel Games really went under the radar. Not a lot of people are talking about it, but it's certainly one that I would recommend you check out, Jab. Number seven is Street Masters. Now, Street Masters is kind of the closest to the, on this list to not necessarily being what it's about. Street Masters from the Saddler Brothers is closer probably to Double Dragon games. But it does take a lot of the Street Fighter aspects into it. You control characters with their own personalized deck of cards. You're working together uh, to fight off hordes of bad guys coming in. But I feel like if you like the Street Fighter style games, you would like Street Masters, which is why it's number seven. And definitely, it's a love letter to the genre for sure. Number six is Super Punch Fighter. This is from uh, the Plot Hat Games, and this one is definitely a video game. How do I know this? Because the cards actually have buttons printed on the cards, and you need to press these buttons. You put thumb tokens on them to pull off combos. There's each character in the game has their own deck. You go into an arena, you run around, and beat each other up until you get a certain number of points. Works really smoothly. Very light game, but fun. Number five is Flash Duel. Flash Duel from Serling Games is definitely based on, uh, on Guard from Reiner Knizia. I mean, it's almost the exact same game, but with special powers added. And so the original game was two duelists, like a fencing duel. It's kind of morphed out a little bit more in Flash Duel. And I think, you know, with the special powers each character has, I found this to be a very strategic, entertaining, and a little above light in how much it weighs, you know, uh, difficulty-wise, to be able to play. I thought it was a pretty fun game. Number four is Yomi, also from Sterling Games. And this was one of the first games I played in this genre. You each have your own deck of cards. This is 100% rock, paper, scissors. And as you're playing things back and forth, trying to figure out the right card to play at the right time, the deck of cards is very similar to a deck of actual playing cards, but you have special powers that you can kind of combo off of. And then there's massive things that you can play against your opponent. It has this feeling of we're going to go back and forth, but then I can really nail you to the wall. It's a fast game. It's fun. It is expensive. It was expensive when it first came out. 
and that's even I think it's probably even pricier than now to get which is one of the things that doesn't put it up at number one but I thought this did a superb job of translating this genre to the card game Number three is Battlecon. Whether it's War of Endines or Devastation of Endines, this one from level 99 is the one I enjoy more than Exceed. I get a lot of people like Exceed, but Battlecon is a more thoughtful game. It's a little slower than it probably could be. I love how extremely different all the characters are. I mean, you got characters with zombies. You got a character who has a pet that jumps around. A character who just runs up with a big sword and tries to get you. Someone who tries to move back and snipes you. And in this game, you're putting two cards together each time, trying to form a combo to take out the opponent. And it's very thoughtful, and like I said, and very differentiated in every match. It also has a tons of variants and ways to play the game. So, I, to me, Exceed feels like a lesser version of it, but I can see why some people like Exceed better. I just tend to like Battlecon better. Number two is Dice Throne. Whether Season 1 or Season 2, Dice Throne is um, where you throw a bunch of dice. It has almost a feel to King of Tokyo, but you're trying to roll combos to activate different combos on your player board. Each person plays a fighter, and there's so many cool fighters from a... a undead pirate to a gunslinger to an angel to uh, a king with a sword or just back and forth they have all these different fun combos this can be played as a multiplayer game but i really like it as a two-player back and forth and the special powers are very differentiated against the other person uh, and it's just fun to try to roll for those combos the production quality is through the roof it is just extremely entertaining so dice thrown any of the the seasons of it and then my number one it's actually probably a bit off the beaten path because this game has not got a ton of love, but I really enjoy it, and that's Combo Fighter. This is from Colossal Games, and Combo Fighter has it right in its name. You're trying to build combos, and you come with these different characters who have, a, again, different decks of cards. But in this game, again, rock, paper, scissors, you are trying to set it up so you can just play a big, giant combo against your enemy, and that's really satisfying. <clears throat> I felt like Combo Fighter comes the closest to really feeling like one of these back and forth fighting games. Although many of the games on this list have done so. Combo Fighter can be bought in smaller packs where you have two different fighters and you can combine them, they work really well. Trying to figure out when to use your special abilities, they, they also feel very different. It's one of the easiest games to teach and it is my favorite on this list. Now, I don't think there's many more of these games out there, but if there's one that I've missed for sure, mention it in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite is. I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, this is the Dice Tower, and we talk today about your top 10 fighting games.